Hello Pisces, welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network, you guys. We are here to do another reading for all of you to get the messages about all of the zodiac signs. So if you did not watch the last all zodiac sign reading, this is basically where we go through each zodiac sign and break down what you need to know as a Pisces about each of these signs. I will link it in the description box below. We actually have done two of these before one for february and one for march i figured i would make this something regular that we do um and i started off kind of doing it every month but i dated the videos for like the first to the 15th so i think we should start doing them twice a month just so you know if you're looking for a specific sign what you need to know about that zodiac sign and then we're going to move on at the end to what you need to know about each element so that could mean when it comes to things in your chart, that could mean when it comes to specific zodiac signs and people, or that could mean when it comes to different seasons of the year. So we are going to go ahead and get started, Pisces. Thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate all of that from every single one of you who, so, who shows support to the channel. Also, I have a channel message. So when I start stuttering like that sometimes, it's because I'm trying to hurry up and speak so I don't forget the channel message. But be sure to like the video, you guys. Be sure to subscribe. Interact with the content. Put a brain in the comments if it's resonating. That's the best way to show me that it's resonating or whatever it is that you have to offer or add to the conversation. We love to hear it. We love to see it. All right. Anything you need to know is going to be below in the description box. And if you do want to purchase a personal 5% off for Pisces season is coming to an end very soon. The code is below and the website is below. And if you would like to further donate to the channel monetarily, please use the PayPal or the Zelle information, you guys. Okay. So I just kind of got this channel message because like even the cats are stirring around like Percy's sitting on the bed. He's looking at me now. He's trying to ignore me because he heard me say his name. And then Cosmo and Snowflake are in the window and they're just so focused on this bee outside. Like this bee keeps buzzing around. And it's kind of crazy because when I was getting my son off the bus, there were three bees that were outside of my window. Not outside of my window. I'm sorry. There were three bees in the garage, like buzzing, literally like coming in and out of the garage. Like it was a little nerve wracking. And the buzzing of the bees really felt like it activated my crown. So I was trying to like remain calm in a difficult or scary situation because I'm not the biggest fan of bees, but they're, they were bumblebees. They weren't wasps. So I wasn't really like super duper scared. I really don't like the wasps, but since these were the bumblebees, I wasn't as like frightened. And then also when I was filming your readings earlier, there was a bee buzzing on like the outside of the window. So you're going to see a reading. I did another reading who's coming towards you, why they're coming towards you and what's hidden. It's super long, but there was a lot of like really crazy information. And there was just this like bee buzzing outside of the window when I was doing that reading. And I also did another one for you guys that's going to come out the next day. So there's been this reference to bees and I remember we had like that reading was said that, you know, summer was going to be really busy and, um, there's like a bee on the card and it's in this deck right here with the angels and ancestors. So I'm going to use that as advice for this reading because the bee reference was brought up again with that bee outside of the window that the cats are so mesmerized by right before I turned on this reading. So I just wanted you guys to know there could definitely be like, and I just said B again. Um, and every, I mean, there could definitely be a busy time for you coming up. There may definitely be some situations that are a little scary or nerve wracking or intimidating to you, Pisces, that I feel like are coming up in the near future. But spirit really wants you to know that you have everything under control. Like you are poised to handle the situation in the most classy, eloquent, elegant way. Even if you're a masculine energy, I feel like you carry yourself with dignity and grace. And I feel like you guys are equipped to handle whatever is about to come at you. And I don't think it's bad. I think it just may feel like a whirlwind, something that's super exciting, something that you haven't really prepared for or even anticipated to be possible, but something that you 
completely 100% deserve. And I know that you guys are going to have everything that you need. You're going to be able to handle this just smoothly. And I feel like you guys are about to be super busy. Okay. Remain calm, Pisces. Remain calm. There is nothing to fear. You're the the more fear that you have, the less fun you're gonna have. And the the less fun you're having, the more awkward you look. And it's not really about what you look like, but it's for your own enjoyment. So just try not to be so stressed or pressed about a situation. Like just try to be yourself because that's the best version of you. Now, when it comes to these zodiac signs, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Guardian angels. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. I'm going to have to get another one of these mini radiant wider weight decks because my Empress card is tore up. Like, they really try to tear up the Empress. <laughs> mm, but she's still the Empress. And nothing changes that, whether she's bent up or not. Uh, but let's see. For Aries, interesting. The star card just popped out. Yeah, even if you feel bent out of shape or if you feel someone try to knock you off your square, you're healing from that. And I feel like a lot of you have healed sufficiently. That's what's most important for you to focus on is how evolved you've become from whatever you've been through. Okay, so when it comes to Aries, what does Pisces need to know? When it comes to Aries, guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God. Oh, there's some secrets coming out because it was upright and then it went in reverse. I also feel like there could be some fear or emotions involved with the situation. Someone is not really in touch with their feminine energy. Um, cancer and Aries could be connected or significant in some way, shape or form. But there's definitely something that's been hidden or submerged that's coming to the surface. These could be emotions. The page of Pentacles is at the bottom with the tower. <laughs> I was about to say the tower. It's not. It's the title card. So there could be a tower. Like there could be an explosion of emotions or there could be some type of explosive secret that comes out. Some type of explosive information that you receive. Okay, this could definitely be a document with the title card and the page of Pentacles. It feels like a document or some piece of physical information that comes out about this Aries. Oh, wow. Or there's some type of proof that comes out about a situation when it comes to an Aries. And this is either like proof in terms of like, I don't know, text messages, paperwork. It feels like an actual physical item that is going to prove like a secret or it's going to like prove something to be true or it's going to solidify something that was hidden. I don't know. It feels kind of like exposure because I definitely said the tower and I did not mean to. Okay. What does. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to be happy about this. Four of cups. This could have been something that someone was trying to keep hidden because the seven of wands was just at the bottom with the four of cups when it comes to Aries. Either they're not going to be happy about it or you're not going to be happy about it. I'm not sure who. Maybe both of you guys are involved in the same situation with a cancer. I feel like that could be possible. Um, just brace yourselves. That's what I feel like I have to say. And sorry, you guys. Again, this is for March 15th to the end of the month. All right. Isn't it the 31st? Like, is that when March comes to an end? Like, after my birthday, I really do not give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Yes, yeah, the 31st. Um Honestly, my son's birthday after whenever, if it's not a birthday, I really don't care what day of the week it is. Uh, but yeah, so this is from March 15th to the 31st of March, just so you guys know. So this could definitely be something that's coming out from now until the end of the month. Okay. So what does Pisces need to know when it comes to Taurus spirit? Mm, it's reverse too. eight of Pentacles reverse. Something is not working or this Taurus is not working. Some of y'all have kids that are not turning in their homework. If you have a Taurus child, they're not turning in their homework for school or they're not turning in their work for school. Or you may have a child that's going to drop out of school or talk about dropping out of school. Cherry energy with the Ten of Pentacles. Sorry, I had to chew that cough drop so I didn't choke on it. Mm. 
Yeah, so I don't know. There's it's something that you're moving on from when it comes to this Taurus, or this Taurus is moving on from something. It's like they feel like something is not working, or they're literally not working. Like somebody doesn't have a job. This person could be moving back in with their family members because they don't have a job or they're literally like not working or something is just not working out. I feel like somebody could be moving back to their hometown or they could be moving away from their hometown. So, okay, Pisces, what I'm getting, what you need to know is that when it comes to this Taurus energy, something is not working out where someone is at. So they're moving on to something else because they feel like it's going to technically like be more lucrative. And it could be vice versa. So they could either be moving back to their hometown because when they moved away, things didn't work out or they couldn't find a job or they're moving away from their hometown because they need to get out of a small city. I feel like somebody wants to move to a bigger city. Or they feel like they're a big fish in a small pond. Something like that. It's about money. This could also be about someone who doesn't have the money to travel. I'm not sure what that's about. But take it how it resonates. This Gemini. What does Pisces need to know when it comes to Gemini spirit? Oh my god. Why are the cards? The deck is upright, y'all. Okay. Nine of Swords reversed. So this Gemini is definitely getting out of their head when it comes to a situation that was giving them anxiety. I'm not sure what the situation was, situ was, what this situation was, but they're getting out of their head about it because now there's some type of clarification, proof, clarity, information, um, security, I heard. Surety, like someone is sure about something. And here's that tower again. And the Page of Pentacles came out with the Aries energy. So, I don't know. There's something going on here. It's all tied together. I feel like the more that I do these, like this is the third one I've done, the more that I feel like all of these stories kind of tie together in a certain way. Um, I definitely feel like there could be an apology I feel like this Gemini could be overcoming some type of fear that they have of apologizing and it's shocking or somebody is apologizing to this Gemini and they are like shocked. There's something that's going on that's shocking involving this Gemini and it has to do with the Gemini overcoming their fear or anxiety when it comes to doing something. This could be this person giving you some type of information. Um, Scorpios could be involved or a Scorpio season, but this Gemini has some type of information that they're either receiving that they didn't expect from you possibly, or you may be receiving some type of information from them that you didn't expect. And it's because they're overcoming their fear. Okay. What does Pisces need to know when it comes to cancer? Two of Cups, definitely Cancer energy. This Cancer wants to talk. And immediately when I said that, my phone vibrated. Yep, that Cancer wants to talk. They want to meet up. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. This is not speculation. Yep, I told you. The Knight of Cups, they may want to meet up for drinks. They may contact you and ask you out for drinks, but they want to give you some type of information. They want to talk. This Cancer wants to talk and meet up after you get off work. They are going to contact you about this. They want to express to you their feelings. They want to tell you the truth about their feelings. That's it. Point blank. They need liquid courage as well. They want to also, it's like what they imagine the connection to be between the two of you or what they would like to discuss when it comes to the future of your connection. So it could be a friend with a two of cups. It could be a sibling, it could be a business partner, and it could be a lover. It just depends on the situation. But I feel like someone wants to express their true emotions, point blank, period. And they want to meet up and do it and have drinks and possibly dinner, Okay. What does Pisces need to know when it comes to Leo? We have the nine of wands. This Leo is having some type of 
anxiety okay but it's not really anxiety mentally it's more so like physical fear or like they don't want to give up this leo is super determined about something they really don't want to give up but they feel really like beat up and tore down from a situation i just heard lil wayne talking about uh, tore down i'm twisted doorknob son stupid talk with your head then 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 them it how you feel how you feel dun, dun, 25 minutes okay I'm in the business. you know that song what's that song it was that that's not Lil Wayne that's Drake no that but Lil Wayne was on that song and he said I'm twisted doorknob talk stupid off with your head something how you feel how you feel how you feel I'm in the building and I'm feeling myself. I don't know what this Leo is going through. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this Leo. <laughs> and then I heard ski, 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 water gun. Oh my God. Becky, look at her butt. Tucci. Now I'm on a photo. You already know though. You only live once. That's the model nigga yellow. And we bought it every day, every day, every day. And we see another nigga. We don't really play every day, every day. What anybody say? Can't see him because the money in the way. Real nigga. What's up? I don't know what that's about. I guess go listen to the song if you want to know. I don't know what that's about. I swear. That's what I heard. Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Libra energy could be significant as well when it comes to Leo. But uh this Leo is tired. They're beat up. I feel like they have some type of like stress on them. I feel like this Leo may feel like they are afraid to invest in something. So they're giving their energy to something else. It kind of feels like this Leo is very particular of their time or they have some type of hesitation about you i don't know this could be intimidation i don't know i'm hearing now that part can't see him because the money in the way real what's up one time for the one time i'm calling this out umpire i don't know maybe you call this person out or somebody can't see something because money is in the way. Okay, six of pentacles, ace of pentacles. This Leo could be like waiting on another another opportunity to come in. Or they've given their energy to another opportunity. Child, ain't nobody got time to figure out what the fuck that Leo got going on. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Speaking in codes and shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, what? Does Pisces need to know when it comes to Virgo? Okay. This Leo is trying to monopolize your time. And ain't nobody got time for this Leo. <gasps> Did y'all hear the bird? As soon as I said that. Y'all be sure. Okay, side note. Sidebar. <laughs> Have y'all ever been to Sidebar in Atlanta? I've been there. I feel like it's overrated. Sidebar again. Pay attention to the way that I speak in these readings because that can indicate a lot of what the energy actually is. Okay, back to regularly scheduled programming. Back to the program. What does Pisces need to know when it comes to this Virgo? Uh-oh, Knight of Cups. Yep, they got feelings. Feelings while I'm a cleaner. Don't forget to pick them up. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, that Virgo has some type of feelings. They love you. Dang, this Cancer and this Virgo not playing no games, y'all. I feel like this Virgo has some type of feelings for you that they want to express as well. They want to talk to you about how they've been feeling what's been on their mind. But um, they're being... Okay, this is the thing with the Virgo. They're being strategic about what all they express to you they are not giving you everything because the six of pentacles they're they're keeping that six of pentacles to themselves they're only willing to give three pentacles they're not willing to give the full six pentacles but they have all of these overflowing emotions maybe they want to show you some type of appreciation because they're feeling independent i don't know maybe you invigorate this person to feel independent um 
I feel like they see you as very beautiful, very inspiring, very lovely. Like this person is in love with you or they love you very much. They care for you. It could be platonic love. I don't know if it's romantic or platonic, but it feels like this person sees you as like, for some of you, this is platonic. But maybe they see you as their um, daughter or their son, or they see you as a friend or a sister or someone like that. But it could be someone who sees you romantically in this way. Okay. I feel like the Virgo wants to offer you some type of condolences or give you some type of like props or kudos for like being independent or like saving your money or stepping up your game or something like that. All right. What does Pisces need to know when it comes to this Libra? I like the Virgo energy and I'm not mad at the Cancer energy either. I'm honestly not mad at the Gemini energy, but the Virgo and the Cancer really like, I feel like positive energy from those two. Okay. Um, now when it comes to Libra, what you need to know, who is this aggressive ass Libra? That's always coming through in these readings. This Libra got to hurry up and tell you something. They got to hurry up. They feel like they got to hurry up and go on ahead and say something to you. Or they feel like they need to tell you something. Okay. Not a sword. They got something that they want to say. They want to hurry up and say it. But whatever it is, it's got to do with the past. Because they just rushing back. They, 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 they damn near about to break this horse legs. Trying to rush back here to talk to you about some shit. Or try to hurry up and tell you something. Or hurry up and tell somebody something about you. I don't know. Yep, Page of Swords, Queen of Wands. I feel like they're trying to find out information or they done found out some information, honey. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be detached and not really care, but maybe this is how you feel about this Libra. It's like they have to just tell you whatever this is and communicate whatever this is. And since the Queen of Wands is here, it's like, I don't know if there's like two brothers that are Libras or, or this person just feel like they need to tell you what they think about you. Like, but I'm not clarifying for anybody. Sometimes I want to clarify so bad, but I'm not clarifying in these readings y'all. Cause it'll take all day. So I can't be unfair and not clarify for everybody else and only clarify one. So I don't know, but that Libra thinks something or they feel like they found out some type of information, but whoever they are, they're very immature. So I don't know if that's your child. Uh, somebody may want to tell you that they found some type of confidence or they discovered something and they're confident about it or they know without a shadow of a doubt, whatever it is, but it's just, it just feels very forceful. And it feels like somebody may be trying to attack your confidence. So just be aware, okay? What does Pisces need to know when it comes to this Scorpio? Ten of Cups. Interesting. So the Scorpio has a wish or a dream or something that they want to come true or they're daydreaming about you or they're dreaming about you at night. I haven't looked at the bottom of the deck yet because I feel like I had to organize the cards real quick. Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So the Scorpio, something, the Scorpio is waiting to communicate with you about their family. There's something going on with this family or this dream. It could be a dream that they have about having a family with you, but they're waiting to communicate with you about this. I feel like you make this person really happy, but they have not communicated this with you. There could be a financial issue going on with the Scorpio. They could be waiting on some type of money to come in, or they may feel like they're kind of broke right now. Or they're hesitating on something or waiting to move forward, but it's like they feel like they don't have enough right now or that something is not ready. They're not ready. I don't know what that is. Either they're not ready to move forward towards this family with you, or they don't, they feel like they don't have enough money to do so. Or that maybe sometimes it could be that they don't have enough money to move or relocate to a home, like their dream home. It kind of feels like this person is just dreaming about something, or they have this really strong desire of something that it is that they want. 
as an end goal or a long-term goal, but they're, they're taking their time or they're waiting to pursue it because either they feel like the time is not right or they haven't gotten the right sign to move forward or they don't have the money, something like that. Okay. What about Sagittarius? Ooh, that just popped up the hermit. If it comes out again, then so be it. But I was in the middle. I wasn't really like done shuffling. So you may discover something about a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius may discover something about you. You may uh, have a Sagittarius who is kind of like lurking and spying or trying to gain information, investigating. Okay. Or you may be investigating this person or they may be being investigated by someone else. Okay. All right. What does Pisces need to know when it comes to the Sagittarius? Ooh, five of swords, child. They could be spying on you, trying to get you, uh, trying to investigate something to do with you, seven of wands, but they can't find nothing. I don't know who this person is. I feel like this has to do something with this Virgo. Possibly. Possibly. Doesn't have to be. There could be a Sagittarius that's trying to get revenge on you for standing your ground. <clears throat> yeah, some of y'all got a Sagittarius who's upset that you stood your ground in a situation or you stood up for yourself in a situation and they're holding some type of resentment for you about it. But nine of pentacles, you were standing in your power and you were preserving your energy and keeping your energy to like you weren't allowing somebody to siphon your energy or use you. So I'm not sure exactly what that means, but with the five of swords, it's like you walked away from a situation, but I feel like before you walked away, you said what you had to say, you said your piece and you threw your sword down. You said you threw the mic down, mic drop, bitch said what I had to say. Don't get mad. Cause you, cause you didn't want to hear it. I don't know, but you definitely, I feel like Pisces, whatever this is, this Sagittarius has some type of resentment or animosity towards you. Because you stood your ground. Now, this is the fire energy. So this um, Sagittarius could be kind of defensive uh, when it comes to you. But I feel like it's because of envy or jealousy because the five of swords is here. And then you have the nine of pentacles. So either way. Dang. Either way, whether you said what you had to say or not, and they didn't like it, or whether they just have this animosity or jealousy towards you. It's, it sounds like a them problem and not a you problem. I feel like stand your ground, stand up for yourself, especially if someone is being a fucking bully. All right. Okay. It could be a jealousy thing because of your looks, your beauty, your work, your business, whatever you do for a living. They could definitely be jealous of that with the nine of pinnacles or just like natural things that you've inherited for yourself. Like I said, beauty, right? Mm, money, uh, business. Maybe you inherited some a house from your family. Or it's like, it's just something that you inherently possess. It could even just be your gifts, your skills, your abilities. Whatever makes you independent, whatever makes you successful. That's what this person is jealous of. They may have even tried to block you professionally or something like that. Or try to like tarnish your name, gossiped about you definitely watch that reading about who is coming towards you because there was a queen of wands that came out in reverse and had the page of cups next to it. So this could be a person gossiping about you or slandering you or something like that. They also could be like trying to find information on you and investigating you, but they're not able to find anything because they were doing it for a malicious reason. And you protected a lot of your information or spirit protected it for you. So there, what does Pisces need to know about Capricorn? Oh, six of Pentacles reversed. So the Capricorn is not giving to a situation or they're not paying. Maybe Capricorn owes you some money. They're not going to pay or they don't want to pay or they are not getting paid. You're not paying this person back. I don't know, but there's definitely something that's not being paid back. The title card and the hangman. Yeah. So you're waiting on this Capricorn to pay you back. I just feel like they're not going to do it probably because they don't have it. Okay. Or you might be waiting to pay a bill or waiting to purchase something. Maybe you're waiting to have the money to do it yourself. That might not happen until Capricorn season. So if it's a big purchase that 
has a big document attached to it, like a deed, a title, a lease, um, whatever it is, you have to wait until Capricorn season. That's a strong message I'm getting for a lot of you guys. A lot of you, I feel like you're seeing things from a different perspective when it comes to this Capricorn. There's some type of imbalance here. There's definitely imbalance. Maybe you're trying to get in touch with this person and they're not responding. Um, but there's definitely an imbalance here in this situation that you're starting to realize a Capricorn may be trying to call you out for not paying a bill or not paying them back, but I feel like it could be vice versa. So take it how it resonates. Okay. All right. What does Pisces need to know when it comes to Aquarius, the magician? Okay. So Aquarius is taking some type of action in secret. Aquarius has everything they need to finally like pull the trigger on something and take the action that they wanted to take that they've been planning to take. They Aquarius has something very specific that they're focusing on that they're keeping very private. All right. Damn the world card and the seven of cups. Yeah. So this could be about something online with the world card. This could be about some type of world news. I don't know who an Aquarius is, so I don't know who the fuck I'm talking about. I have no idea, but it definitely could be something going on on a world stage with the seven of cups and the world that, cause that's like online communication. I know it doesn't seem like it, but I'm getting online communication. Cause there's some type of illusions around this. There's this Aquarius is manipulating something. This Aquarius is taking action to end something. And they're going to create some type of distraction around it. There could have even been something that happened in Aquarius season that we don't know about because there was a distraction that someone manipulated. I don't know, but there's definitely an ending going on with this Aquarius and they don't want people to know. So it could be positive. It could be negative. I'm not sure. And I'm not about to be pressing it because it feels like it's a little dangerous. And I don't want to go there with them Aquariuses, okay? What does Pisces need to know when it comes to Pisces, spirit? This Pisces, what do they need to know? Oh, Ten of Swords reverse, look at that. So either you're not facing a situation that's coming to an end, which I don't necessarily think is true, or you are finally allowing the swords to fall out of your back Pisces. Okay. Or you're forgiving someone or someone is forgiving you. Okay. Could be a Gemini could also be a Sagittarius. Maybe you're forgiving this Sagittarius or they're forgiving you. If a Sagittarius is coming around talking about, they forgive you. It could be sarcastic or it could be fake just so they can come back and get revenge. I'm just saying the Knight of wands. Oh, wow. <laughs> As I'm talking about Sagittarius, the Knight of Wands is at the bottom. It could also be a Leo. I feel like you guys are either forgiving or being forgiven by a Gemini, a Sag, or a Leo. Or maybe another Pisces. Like you could be forgiving yourself or another Pisces. Um, there's some type of action that you're taking to gain your composure back, Pisces. I just feel like you're trying to control yourself or someone is coming towards you pretty quickly. They may want to protect you. I'm kind of getting a slight message that there's someone who may want to protect you. They could be a Pisces or is picking up on a Gemini or a Sag or a Leo. I don't know about that Leo, though. If it's that Leo, I don't know. This might be another Leo. There's definitely a fire sign energy coming towards you and they're either a Sag or a Leo. Or this Pisces has strong Sag or Leo in their chart and they're coming towards you. Or you have strong Sag, Leo, or possibly Gemini in your chart and you're taking the swords out your back and you're taking action to like move forward quickly from a situation or to get on with it. That's interesting. Okay, so what does Pisces need to know? When it comes to air energy spirit. Interesting. I almost didn't see the card flip out. Eight of swords. So definitely Gemini energy. 
when it comes to the air energy definitely could be mercury which could be like gemini or virgo possibly libra yeah justice at the bottom so yeah libra gemini virgo strongly for the air sign energy there's some type of justice here there's a celebration that is meant to happen it's gonna happen regardless it's fair it's balanced there's a celebration that justice is being served so this could be a court victory or some type of like spiritual court victory somebody knows the laws this could be about a lawyer somebody might be going to jail and it's going to be something beautiful for you this could be happening in an air sign season next season is gemini so in gemini season somebody may be going to jail and it's going to be justice for you and i don't know who it is or what it's about but it's a celebration cancer could be involved also taurus might be involved virgo libra gemini and possibly aquarius but i don't know because whatever that Aquarius got going on was very suspicious. Okay. Isn't that suspicious? Don't you find that suspicious? I got to remember these memes. Lord have mercy. I'll be forgetting these memes. What was the one I said earlier? Y'all hit the like button y'all. Oh yeah, where do I go from here? And isn't that suspicious? I gotta write it down, y'all. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so look to look forward to celebration. Something is fair and balanced, but with the water energy being the three of cups, I feel like you are gonna be celebrating. And there definitely could be a Gemini celebrating, maybe a Libra celebrating, uh, possibly a Cancer celebrating with you. I don't know, but there's somebody going to jail. There's a legal system situation where somebody's going to jail, but it's going to be happy for you. At least I hope so for the majority of y'all. That's what I'm feeling. What does Pisces need to know when it comes to the earth energy? Justice. Wow. So Taurus is right next to Gemini. So I knew it could possibly be a Taurus involved. Yeah, so maybe there's a Taurus who's a judge. There's a Libra, Taurus, and Gemini involved in a situation, possibly a Cancer somewhere, but that could just be three of cups talking about your energy. Earth energy, what's at the bottom? King of, <gasps> King of Swords and the Devil. <gasps> Hmm. there's a lot of communication going on in the legal system or about something legal. And this does not look good. I just heard entrapment, bondage, um, suppression, and like something against someone's will. I don't know what that is. Somebody has experienced slaying demons. And I feel like it's this judge or this person. There's justice for some type of toxic behavior that someone was doing to like manipulate a situation or suppress evidence or coerce someone or like, just try to keep a situation trapped or tied down or locked away. This could even be like embezzlement or blackmail fraud. Chow. Earth sign energy. The next earth sign is Taurus, baby. And the one after that is Virgo. Mm. You know, I'm sorry. I'm not going to clarify those. But Lord, what's this eight of swords for this air sign energy? <gasps> the lovers reversed and the six of cups just popped out. Definitely Gemini. This lovers is reversed, but it was going into the upright. So, but somebody made a bad choice and now they're realizing it. Yeah, somebody made a bad choice in the past. Yeah, 10 of wands and the ace of pentacles, like trying to block money, hide money, block an opportunity, hide opportunities. 
um, a bad choice when it comes to work or business. But whoever this is did this to themselves. Like, Spirit doesn't want you to be sympathetic of this person because whatever this Ten of Wands is, it's like they brought it on themselves. And they tried to get you to carry their burden. Like in the past, they tried to give their burden to you. Or somebody tried to make it hard for you to protect your children or something like that. I don't know. It's a legal situation. Somebody's going to fuck the jail, okay? And it could be about money or kids or the past. Like it could be your childhood, their childhood, your kid's childhood, some type of money or like kidnapping even. Like I don't know. What's the justice with this earth energy? Mm, it's reversed. The page of pentacles. <gasps> Bad news, but it's fair. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Eight of wands and the chariot. This is the police coming. You you're going to get communication from the police or some type of bad news, but I don't think it's bad for you because somebody is celebrating. This communication is coming in during. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't stop. I'm corny. What's the page of pinnacles reversed with the justice? Shit. It's reversed. <gasps> the page of swords. What is this? Uh... Oh my God. Somebody investigated that there was, and it's, it's, there's an investigation, something to do with money, something to do with bad news from the courts and the legal system and the police. And they are coming. There could be a Sagittarius running from the police. I feel like this could involve a Libra, a Sag, a Gemini, or a Taurus. Just the reason why I say that is because the chariot was kind of chasing the eight of wands. That's the only reason why I say that. And because that hermit card came out when I first started talking about Sagittarius. So I don't know. Virgo is involved somewhere in there. So Virgo's involved. Taurus is definitely involved. Sag could be involved. Libra's definitely Im involved. And possibly a uh, 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 Gemini. And maybe Cancer. Okay, for sure. I don't know what this is. But literally, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer are sequentially the next signs that are coming up in the year under the Zodiac. And then you have this card where I said something was explosive with Aries and the secret is being revealed. So something is coming out in Aries season. And it could be involved with something that happened in Aquarius season because I'm getting pulled back to this magician, that fucking world card and the seven of cups. And it feels like there was a situation that someone tried to manipulate and create an, a, 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 a dilute, not a delusion, but an illusion, or they try to manipulate a situation and created a, a diversion. That's the word I was looking for from what was really going on. And it got found out. Oop, and the chariot is at the bottom with the page of swords. Yeah, there's some type of police investigation involving some type of money or funds. And it's big money. It's big funds that somebody was trying to hide in their home. This could even be like literal like documents that someone was hiding in their home or they were just dealing in cash. And this could have been like a situation where somebody was getting paid under the table with cash. So their funds or their income could not be like tracked. This could also be a situation where somebody was, um, I don't know, giving, giving their funds to, I'm, I'm getting like a family member or something with this six of cups <sighs> or they were giving it to their child. And I don't know what the fuck is going on, but it's definitely something going to be exposed. Um, how is Pisces viewed in that whole situation? Like what I'm trying to find out spirit, is it in Pisces, is it to Pisces benefit or is it to their detriment? This whole situation that I'm talking about with the air energy and the earth energy, is it to their advantage or their detriment? This whole situation. King of wands. King of pentacles. And the three of swords. 
Yeah, there's, I, I don't think, I think someone else is going to be disappointed. I feel like a masculine is going to be disappointed and they could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, or a Libra. I don't even think the Gemini is going to be disappointed because the Gemini, mm, I think they may have been afraid to say something like they might've been, been a witness The older masculine is the one who's going to be disappointed, okay? What is Pisces energy going to be when it comes to this situation? What is Pisces energy? Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> it seems like you're going to have some very positive energy when it comes to this situation because it's the Ten of fucking Pentacles. I don't even, I'm just going to put it right there, okay? The page of cups and the sun, you're going to be happy, period, point blank. Sun card, page of cups, ten of pentacles. There's something that you're finding out after a long time or something is a long time coming or this money is coming out. And it's about, it's about to happen. I know I keep saying it's about to happen, but I feel like it's picking up on all of you guys' energies who are on different timelines and different situations, okay? What does Pisces need to know when it comes to this fire energy? What's T on the fire energy, spirit? Ooh, the Hermit Reverse and the Ace of Wands. Somebody's discovering something new. Or you need to know that there's some type of discovery that's being made in the fire sign season. Now, let me just look at this. Hold on. Yeah, there's a new discovery that you're going to make in a fire sign season. Next one is Aries. Or this, this is talking about that discovery that's being made in Aries season. I feel like you guys don't know something or you, it's like you're about to learn something new, but it's like inspiring. Like whatever you're learning or finding out about is very inspiring. Two of wands. Yep. Aries. Definitely. A decision to do something new. Okay. It's like you don't know a lot about what this is or there's just so, there's just things that you don't know yet that I feel like spirit is keeping hidden from you so that you can pursue whatever these goals are. What else is this hermit reverse ace of wands with the fire energy for Pisces? The ace of pentacles. Yes, this is definitely something new that you're discovering or learning about yourself or your passions or something that you love. Yeah, learning about it. And you're about to be very successful. You're about to get a lot of attention for something new that you're learning how to do in airy season. You could have already learned how to do this and you're gonna get this recognition in airy season or possibly Taurus season or Leo season. It's either gonna be Aries, Taurus, or Leo where you're gonna get this recognition or it's either gonna be Aries, Taurus, or Leo season where you start to learn whatever this is and pay more attention to it. And it's going to make you very successful. It's a new opportunity that you're creatively inspired to pursue. But you have to go to school or you have to learn something new. So some of you guys may be enrolling in a new program at school. Or you could be enrolling in a new like vocational program. Maybe it's not like a big school. It could just be like, uh, you know, maybe you learn a mixology or something like that. I don't know. But it's something that's going to make you very successful either in Aries season if you've already started or in Leo season if you're about to start in Aries season, okay? What does Pisces need to know when it comes to the water energy? Two of Wands. Yeah, D good decision. Good decision. I feel like your emotions are more balanced with this Two of Wands and you're starting to tap into your intuition on a more mature level to where you're making better choices and decisions yeah judgment your judgment is is not blocked anymore or there's like a realization that the decisions that you were making was causing like you, the decision it's like there's a realization that the decisions that you were making were based upon a blocked state of mind or a blocked uh perspective when it comes to your judgment there's a big decision that you don't see coming that you're going to have to make during the next water sign, which is cancer season, or it's going to be about a cancer. 
Some of y'all got a cancer coming towards you wanting to be in a relationship or be in love, okay? What time are we at? Oh, wow. What's the two of wands? Sometimes these go quick and sometimes they don't. Five of wands and the temperance. What? Yeah, whatever conflict you have is subsiding or balancing out or that's what's going on with this water sign energy. Now, when it comes to fire, there could be a fire sign that's also discovering something about you or something that they're new that they're learning. I don't know. Y'all, whatever. I'm not going to backtrack. There's some type of confusion, though, balancing out for you as a Pisces or another water sign, which could either be a Cancer or a Scorpio. And I feel like that could be true because the Cancer seems like they're coming towards you and the Scorpio seems like they were hesitating and waiting for, like, a sign. <laughs> And whatever it is, they're going to get it and they're going to come towards you. So it's definitely fire sign energy associated with water. So it means like action. So either you as a water sign are taking action because you're starting to see clearly or that's what another water sign is doing. And then we have the Empress at the bottom, which we talked about earlier. And there's a shift. Yeah, so it's time for you to it's, it's time for you to take this new journey. It's, it's definitely time for you to take this new journey, take these new steps, Pisces. This is a like a, a, a faded shift or a faded change or this is just destiny and fate regardless because the will of fortune and the temperance is here. Like the, the conflict had to be balanced out because it was just so out of whack. And that's the justice here as well. So what else does Pisces need to know when it comes to these messages? Bad habits, healing, and bereavement. Yeah, you're healing some type of bad habits. Some of you guys are quitting smoking, drinking, overspending, but you're healing some type of bad habits because you realize that you've lost too much time or there's been too much loss. What else does Pisces need to know when it comes to these messages? Yeah, we have ruin anxiety and ruin yeah so there's some type of bad habit. some of y'all are quitting smoking congratulations congratulations booze come on over to the table darling okay you're quitting smoking because it is causing you even more anxiety than it's fixing it's like ruining things or you feel like it, you're you're stressed out about what these bad habits could possibly ruin yeah fear and bereavement you don't want these bad habits to cause you to lose whatever this is that's coming in. So if you've had an urge to like get your life together, Iyan the face ass, um, it's because you can feel this shift happening and you know you need to do something about it, whether or not it's like you kind of um, stressing about your health because you have a bad habit or whether it's you understanding that like if you don't fix it, there's going to be some type of loss. Either way, it's like definitely in black and white like there's no if ands or buts about it you knew that you had to change whatever this was and i feel like you're changing it now some of you some of you also need to be aware that like anxiety and fear could be ruining your opportunity to have the good things that are coming through in these readings and it's causing you to lose opportunities because you have a bad habit of getting anxious or afraid of things not working out. And it and it causes unnecessary loss, which is what I feel like I was touching on with this water energy. Okay. What is the advice for Pisces spirit? What is the advice? Drum. Dream and journey. And I was channeling dream songs. Um, the Shanti one that I brought up a while back. Dreams are real and all you have to do is just believe. That's what I was channeling a while ago. And then also Selena. Cause I'm dreaming of you tonight till tomorrow till tomorrow and for all of my life okay period dream journey okay dream and journey at the bottom okay the uh sacred geometry great teacher learn from spiritual experiences the dove and then Earth Mother, feel loved and comforted. Interesting. I'm only going to read the drum for you guys real quick. 
but I feel like there's definitely with this learn this great teacher card learn from spiritual experiences you guys have definitely been connecting to your spirit guide spirit team or whatever form of divination that you use and it's connecting you to the earth more so than possibly you've been in the recent past and I, I feel like it's helping you be more grounded okay I feel like your dreams could also be getting to be more uh vivid because they're showing you things about your journey that you don't necessarily see and about the things that you're about to kind of like cycle out of and overcome because of what you've learned from your spiritual experiences. Okay. Now the drum card says, <clears throat> cha, cha, cha. It says journey inwards to uncover insights and information that will be important for your path. Then follow the guidance. Mm. In shamanic traditions in all four corners of the world, the drum is recognized as the main tool used by medicine men and women to direct their will and aid meditation. A drum beat can become hypnotic and send those listening into an altered state that can allow them to journey to the spiritual realms and meet their guides. When the drum card appears in a reading, there are opportunities for you to dream or bring an inner vision into reality. It says you are very connected to the other worlds at this time. Wisdom and intelligence of the earth and her magic surrounds you. The drum, which echoes the sound of Mother Earth's heartbeat, has cleared the cobwebs and dust from your inner vision. What you have seen in your dreams and inner vision is not imagination, but guidance, particularly if it has been coming to you repeatedly and has the potential to become reality. Dreams come true. Know it and live it. So I definitely feel like the Ashanti song with dreams is definitely relevant here. Dreams are real. And all you have to do is just believe. So it's like spirit. Hold on, y'all. Thumbnail. Forgot. Spirit really wants you to believe in your dreams. And that's point blank period. So I hope that helps you guys to understand what's going on with the signs around you from March 15th to March 31st. I really appreciate you guys. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Put a brain in the comments. Engage with the content, you guys. It's very helpful. And I really appreciate all of you guys who do so so willingly also if you want to book your reading there's only a few days left so be sure to click the link in the description box to my website and use the coupon code that's also listed below and if you guys want to donate or contribute to the channel you can use the paypal or zelle information that is also included in the description box you guys go subscribe to mom jeans by nutcase and the underground if you want love readings and i will see you guys next time pisces remember this is our circle booze bye